Hello, 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 my lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. Hello, today's pick a card, love, a tarot reading. We are going over what are they thinking about you right now. Um, we'll also dive into feelings, um, some hidden truth, challenges, intentions, all that stuff. But the main focus is what are they thinking about you right now. So I have three piles for you guys today. Um, first pile, our pile one, we have this page of cups with this piece of green fluorite here. And with that, I'll be using the Uncommon Tarot for the main deck. Pile two, we have this King of Wands card with this little piece of black obsidian. It's actually a personal piece that I carry on me all the time. Um, it wanted to be used in a video. So that is pile two, and I'll be using the Tarot of the Mystical Moments. And pile three, we have this lovely Hermit card with this piece of Carnelian. And with that, I'll be using the Crow Tarot. So take a deep breath, go to whichever pile you're drawn to the most. If you're drawn to more than one, feel free to watch more than one. Um, you can watch different piles for different people. That's totally fine. Um, just always make sure you're tapping in with your intuition and asking yourself, what pile do I have a message in today or that I need to know or I need to hear um, and go with that. These are general readings, so not every little thing is going to fit for everyone. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, um, but you do have to use your own discernment to know what's right for you. These readings are set up to confirm things um, that you may already know or have hunches on. Uh, that is the purpose with um, these readings, as long with, along with you know majority of the tarot readings out there for you. So just keep that in mind. Um, again, we have pile one, pile two, pile three. Um, what else do I want to say? I also do personal readings. You can find the information in the description box below. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave these up for a moment. If you need more time, feel free to pause the screen. Um, the timestamps will be in the description box below or in the pinned comment. And um, yeah, all right. I'll see you guys there. Bye, guys. Hello, my lovely friends from Pile One. You guys picked this beautiful green fluorite and this Page of Cups card. This always gives me kind of Pisces vibes with this fish on here. So some of you guys may have some Pisces connections or just water sign connections, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, um, Pisces. So um, there could be a little bit of um, in this connection if you're drawn to this card. Um, Someone could have a bit of a memory problem or they'd be like, oh, I forgot. Like I think about, um, like they say about goldfish, they just forget a lot supposedly. Um, I'm not sure how true that is. Does anyone know? Um, I've just heard about like that saying about, you know, forgetful as a goldfish, but I'm not even sure if that's actually <laughs> legit and how would they know? Anyways, okay. Um, there is this like little message and someone's like popping out of this cup trying to hand some sort of handwritten letter. So there could be um, some sort of like sweet letter that has been exchanged or um, a note, uh, love notes kind of vibe coming in here um, with this card. Okay, I kind of like all that coming through, but let's jump into the tarot. So we, our big question for this reading is what are they thinking about you right now? Like what it what is on their mind about you? Those kinds of things. I'll be looking into other aspects of the connection as well. And at the end of the reading, for those who like that extra confirmation, I will be pulling um, letters and charms and attributes for your person just to help you know if you're in the right spot, if you feel like you need that. So let's see, pile one's person. What are they thinking about them right now? What is Pile One's person thinking about them? What is on their mind about Pile One? <clears throat> Please remember these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Okay. So we have the sun. So you make this person very happy. They could think of you as very much like um, 
the sun on their warm face, uh, Leo vibes with this. Um, for some of you guys, this is a big statement, but you could give, be this person's reason for living, or they might have said that at some point. Like you, you give them a reason to like wake up in the morning, that kind of vibe. Um, sunflowers may have a connection. Uh, someone's favorite flower may be a sunflower. I feel, I, I, I'm hearing someone has a sunflower tattoo. I, I'm sure that's not that <laughs> absurd, but it might be a significant um, connection with this. Okay. Then we have the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups. So some of you, um, if this is a newer relationship, you may have started off as friends. Also, you guys could have some mutual friends. Three of Cups can also be about reunion energy. Uh, I will give a nod to the third party if that's your situation. But in for how this person is thinking, I, I do think this person thinks about you a lot with this Knight of Swords here. Um, this is something that they're, they're, they contemplate you a lot. They think about you a lot. Um, they could think about how well you guys get along together. If they, if you guys go out and do fun things, it's something they think about often. Um, that Three of Cups energy is very much celebratory, having fun, going out, friendship, those kinds of things. Um, so some of you guys might not be just quite there with this page energy back to that. That can be like a newer kind of relationship. That's not going to be resonant for everyone, but um, the energy is here as well. So let's keep pulling. Ooh, okay. We have the magician. So this person sees you as, you know, a bit of like magical person. You may be really good at manifesting. Um, you could also make this person feel empowered. There's something about you that really makes this person feel alive going back to that sun kind of energy but it's like you make this person almost realize the impossible is possible um yeah okay it's kind of like you've like opened opened this person's eyes up to to a new way of being a new way of thinking a new way of like enjoying life I really love all this that's coming up. Okay, let's see. How else is this person thinking about Pi One? What are they thinking? <clears throat> Six of Coins. <clears throat> we do have these two kids breastfeeding here, so there could be there could be a connection with that. But this is Six of Coins is or Six of Pentacles is an even give and take that this person feels like very abundant around you. Also, they could see you as very generous, very nurturing. And they really, yeah, they really enjoy that about you. All right, how else is this person thinking? What are they thinking? <sighs> okay. They also could like your chest area, depending, at, you know, uh, it doesn't matter gender here on that. I mean, some of you guys, like, the, the reason I giggled, it came in as, hey, nice rack, sorry. <laughs> but it did. But, uh, you know, it could just be that area. Oh, we have a Knight of Wands. So yeah, this person is extremely attracted to you. They think about that a lot. Um, they, they might, you know, fantasize about you a bit. Um, you kind of just, uh, you have this energy that keeps this person on their toes, but always like wanting more. Um, there, there is a slight frustration Come in, like almost like this person like is a little frustrated that they think about you as much as they do. Uh, it's kind of how this is coming in. Um, we have the nine of wands being an overall energy. This is energy of persistence. This is energy of not giving up. So depending on your situation, there could be like a, I'm not giving up on this connection. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to see where this goes. I want to see where this takes me. Yeah. Okay. I use a different deck to kind of clarify these. I've enjoyed doing that lately. <clears throat> All right, can I get some clarifiers on what they're thinking about? A little, a little more insight to this picture. Okay. We have a Knight of Swords again. This person, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they if they've called you like their sunshine, and you're the sunshine of my life. You really brighten up my day. Um, you help them get up in the morning. You help them move along. Um, you might be the first person that they think of when they wake up in the morning too. Um, so hopefully, this person is good at giving you like a good morning text and stuff. If you're not with them, like seeing them in the morning. 
The Four of Cups. That's interesting coming out with this. So the Four of Cups could, is, a, is an energy of apathy. It also can be rejection. Uh, this can be a missed opportunity. Uh, we do have these rose colored glasses. With this combination, it's Three of Cups clarified by a Four of Cups. If you aren't together with this person, or if you guys aren't there yet, um, or I guess depending, I could be with people that are together. There, there just feels like this, like this could be more, or maybe I missed out on something, or I'm afraid of missing out on this. But there's also this feeling that this person worries that you, maybe you see too highly in them. Um, it's kind of like, can I be the person that this person sees me at? Because again, this person, like they see you like very highly. They think very highly of you, pile one. Not only are they attracted to you, they 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 are just in awe of you, kind of. It's like watching a sunset or a sunrise is how they feel about you. Okay, we have the tower here. Can I clarify this tower? Four of Wands. Hey, you've really just come in and shaken this person, like, sh sh shooken? Shaken? You've shook this person's world up, um, like, at their foundation. So you, you kind of came in, and how you operate through your life, how you do things, possibly ever, everything that you've been through. We have this Nine of Wands energy, which I was kind of reading as this person doesn't want to give up on this or is like wants to, to see this through. But this is also like they could see this about you, like your like the perseverance you have. Um, they're like in awe of that. You've you've probably been through a lot. And even like through like when life's given you lemons, you've made lemonade. Um Maybe you made a lemon drop instead. <laughs> if you know, you know. But um, you've just kind of taken, like, this person just sees everything that you've been through, everything that you've done, and you kind of just have, have recreated yourself even though you've been through a lot. And others of you, you've just shook, you've, you've shook this person's world up. Maybe you help them see, like, where they've held themselves back. Four of Wands is about foundational energy. I'm going to give a nod to anyone that's on the Twin Flame journey. Um, don't forget that's a, a journey within yourself. <laughs> but um, yeah, okay, let me let me keep going. Feeling some more stuff's going to come up about that, but let's, let's see. The moon. You highlight things in this person that maybe they've tried to to um, to hide. Oh wow! Okay. Um, you, uh, I love that we have this wolf here though. And there's here's our Pisces card. So Pisces energy showing up again. Um, it's like howling at the moon. This person, like it, it's you. You uncover a side of this person. You uncover it. Your generosity. Your caring. Your nurturing. That that side of you makes this person kind of want to step out of the shell. I need to also give a nod to Cancer. We do have a crab here and Cancer is ruled by the moon. But this is traditionally known as the, the Pisces card. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this person, you, you've, you've helped them face their fears. I think that this person feels safe around you, even though we have the tarot here or the tower here. You know, you, you make this person feel like strong and, and safe. Maybe they've been through a lot and you've been there for them. You've created a safe place. The, four, the fours are like foundational energy. And we did have that four of cups here, even though this is kind of comes in like a missed opportunity or a rejection of some sort. But um, like fours are the foundations. This is celebration. This is marriage. This is, you know, the the foundation that you need. And so that coming out with the tower, it's like you've helped this person through really some hard times in their life and you've helped them see where they can empower themselves. You've helped them see um, that there's just much more to life, um, but they have to choose to see it. So, um, but yeah, you, you've really uncovered things for this person. You've made a safe place for them to really step into the light and be seen. Um, the moon can be about hidden things, um, but it's, it's, can you, can you step into the light? And I feel like you, you encourage this person to do that with the six of pentacles energy. Now with this knight of wands, it came out with a three of swords. This is, this is heartache. 
So for some of you, this person could be afraid to lose you. There could be some sadness around that, um, which is very weird slash interesting um, combination here. So I'm going to get a little more information. What's this Knight of Wands, Three of Swords? Because this is passionate energy. This is I want to move forward. I want to take action in a physical way. Um, this also can be player energy. So if you're dealing with someone who maybe was a player in the past or before they met you or maybe something happened, that has caused them a lot of heartache. Maybe also this person tends to lean into the physical side because they're afraid of opening their heart up. So that could be resonant for some of you as well. Yeah, okay, there's some anxiety around really showing that side. Even though you've made it safe for this person, they might not just be quite there yet. So I feel like that's coming up so you can understand that about this person. Do I wanna bring this up? Um, this is a one-off. Um, if you've had some bad experiences yourself and you've been very open with this person when it comes to physical stuff, um, I think it's something that they, they, they take seriously and they, they, they do worry about a little bit on your side. And this could be even you, you being like hurt by just somebody else's careless actions. Some of you guys, it's intentional or unintentional, but um, I think this person thinks about that a lot. Some of you guys have said, may have said to this person, I think of you're just a player and you're gonna hurt my heart and I'm worried about that. So that could be something that they think about as well. You've called them out on it. Okay. We have the full on the bottom of the deck here. So this person definitely wants to take this to the next level um, or have a new phase if need be, new beginning for some of you. All right, let's look at some hidden truths. Actually, no, take that back. Let's look at some feelings. Let's get a little more insight to how this person's feeling. So we've talked about what, what's on their mind. Let's see, how does this person feel? Can we get some more insight to how this person's feeling currently, right now? Seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up. We have third party on here again. That's resonant for some of you. And temptation. So this person finds you very tempting, very seductive, very alluring. They feel very drawn to you. And again, maybe they're they're worried about that. Maybe you've pointed out that you won't don't want to just be that kind of thing, and you're worried about it. So it's something that they're worried about you. You thinking that they just want you for that because they are so so drawn to you. <clears throat> picture looking at your pictures missing you nostalgia make, making you ramp uh, memory so this person does look at your pictures I don't know if you guys have shared pictures via text uh this kind of feels like when someone has like a secret album of somebody else's and they kind of look back through the pictures a lot if you are in disconnect with this person if you aren't currently talking they could be looking at your pictures checking out your social media missing you date get back out there meeting someone who's setting a date dating online so this is just about dating this person definitely like they want to date you they want to take this they want to they want to see where this goes some of you guys may have met online with this date online here but ultimately this person with this question um <clears throat> with the question of how are they feeling they, they want to date you or continue to date you then we have this mask, hiding true feelings, pretending, delude, gaslight, personify. So there is this, this, even though you make them feel safe, there is a fear around opening this up. This kind of goes back into the storyline of, you know, this person may be a little more comfortable sharing physically than they are opening their heart because they, they possibly have been really hurt and have a lot of anxiety around that. So there is some stuff that this person is hiding. So the next thing we're going to look at is hidden truths. So let's see, pile one, what are some hidden truths in this connection? Ready to surrender. So I feel like this person is ready to surrender to this connection. Something you might not realize that they are wanting, they are wanting this 
they don't want to fight against it. We have enlightenment, seeing more clearly. So this person has had some recent like aha moments or some realizations about this connection and they're feeling, you know, more clear about what they want or even possibly an idea to surprise you on a date. I, I feel like some of you are in like a new relationship and it is going really well. And so like, it's just more good things to come kind of energy. Planning for the future. Travel is good for the soul. So something that you might not realize is that this person is planning some sort of trip, um, planning some sort of thing in the future. Uh, you know, we have, we have pictures here. We have a camera here there. They could be looking at, um, making some sort of plans, uh, getting their passport ready. Um, but yeah, that's something you don't realize that this person is really ready to surrender. They, they, they see this connection clearly and they really want to have some sort of future with you or do something in the future with you. Just be mindful that they have a little bit of that hidden thing going on, but also maybe some of them, uh, I feel like someone out there is just planning something big and they're keeping that from you. Um, they want to surprise you with like a trip somewhere or something. I don't know if your birthday's coming up soon. It's for somebody. All right. Let's see some challenges. So I'm going to use a deck I actually have never used. Um, that a lovely fellow reader named Holly over at Crystal Rose Tarot sent this. And it kind of got stuck in the back. Um, this is the Rebel deck. It's the, the couples edition. It's an oracle with attitude. There's some interesting stuff in here. So... I think I'm going to try to use this for challenges, so I might have to, we'll see how it comes out, but I really, I, I came across this deck within my stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never used this, so we're going to look into some challenges with this. So what are some challenges in this connection? Okay, sit back and relax. Oral love in your future. Wow, okay. Um, but if this is a challenge... The challenge here, this person may have a hard time relaxing. Um, also challenges, like, they could be a little too relaxed. Oral loves in your future. They could be a little bit afraid of that, if that's a challenge. Um, hmm. They could feel like they're not good at that. Maybe they worry about that. This just got super spicy. I wasn't expecting that, <laughs> but there you go. But this person just could have some, some worries about being relaxed and intimate, even though they might come across like they know their stuff. There, there could be like some nervousness around certain parts of intimate connections. Or maybe you guys have, have, have that. Okay. We have watch what you say. That mouth of yours could start some SHIT. Um, so a challenge here could be around speaking their truth. Um, they could be worried about saying the wrong thing, the way this is stated, and I'm asking for challenges. So this person could be fearful that, that they say the wrong thing. They're trying to be mindful of how they speak. Maybe this person has a tendency to like put their foot in their mouth <laughs> and say the wrong thing sometimes, and they don't want to start an issue. Maybe there's a miscommunication for some of you going on that has happened and it's caused a challenge. All right, what other challenges? People are messy. Love them anyways. So a challenge here could be there could be a lot of some baggage on both sides um, that maybe both of you guys are perceiving as a bigger issue than it is, but it's coming up as a challenge. But it says love them anyways. So, you know, the reminder is it's okay. You know, the people are messy. But yeah, watch how you say things. But also, you know, sit back and try to enjoy this uh, when you can. But yeah. Okay. Um, let's look at, let's get some intentions. What's this person's current intentions towards? Pile one, and then we'll do some song cards, some message cards, and then we'll do our confirmations. This deck, I love it. It's just so hard to shuffle. All right, let's see. What is this person's intentions at this time? Pile one, this person's intentions. We have a king of wands. This person does intend to come in full force with confidence. 
Queen of Cups. Wow. I'm hearing this person wants to love you right. They want to share and they want to honor you. And then we have the Empress here. Some of them could intend to start a family with you, get you pregnant <laughs> or vice versa, you know, uh, depending on who you're watching about. If you can't have, if, if for some reason kids aren't in your card, this could just be like, I want to travel the world with you. The Empress is someone who like thinks again, very highly of you, uh, but they put you on a pedestal. They do intend to treat you very well, um, and nurture you, honor you. So that's really nice to see, um, come out bottom of the deck. We have a four of pentacles, which is kind of that energy of holding on really tight. So this person doesn't want to let anything go. They, they want to hold on. They want to keep this. It could be a little greedy. Um, but again, this foundational kind of energies, um, so yeah, that's this person's intentions at this time. All right, let's get our song cards. I know for my last video, a bunch of you guys um, added some. I haven't had a chance to put them. I, I have, I'm in the process of adding those. So I have not added from last week, but, um, so I'm sorry, but I am working on that. But anyways, with the song cards, if you have a song that you want me to add, please drop it in the comments. Um, I do have more cards. I just haven't had a chance to do it. Um, but I will add them. So there'll be a message for you guys in the lyrics of these songs. Um, you can just pick one. Um, I always suggest screenshotting it once I get them out and just picking one and looking up the lyrics. I mean, you can listen to the song or just look up the lyrics. That's where your message will be. So pile one songs. All right. We have three already. We have Bigger Love by John Legend. We have Cast Away by Corday Pirate. Pirate? I butchered that. Um, Possession by Sarah McLaughlin. We have I Never Came by Queen of the Stone Age. And so let's just take the top one. I'm Only Dreaming by Small Faces. So again, if you guys want to screenshot this and pick one once this reading is done, um, to look up the lyrics or list all of them. Someone told me that they make a little playlist and just listen to all the songs. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so you can do that as well. But those are your songs. Let's get you guys some messages. What deck am I seeing? Okay. I'm actually seeing a deck. A reader who doesn't have it, it doesn't have her channel anymore, but loved her. Um, it's a little bit steamier. It can have a little bit steamier messages, but that's what they're showing me. So let's see. I know I was meant to meet you. I feel you deep in my soul. I want to feel your sweet lips on my face. When I look into your eyes, time stops and heaven is unleashed within me. My desire for you is like a volcano ready to erupt. And my love for you fills every fiber of my being. Well, hot damn. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What else does Pile One's person want to say? What do they want them to know? Okay, what do they want them to say? What do they want them to know? I miss getting dressed up to see you. Okay. I have always known you're the one for me. There's no one more magical than you. That came up right away with this magician. They see you as magic. Uh, reminds me of the song uh, by the police. Every little thing she does is magic. So there's an extra song for you. I dream of our life together. Your eyes are like looking into my own soul and I can't stop thinking about you. Well, that's, we talked about that. <laughs> so yay. All right, guys. So I'm going to end this here, but I'm going to, um, actually I'm going to do our confirmations. If you, if you know, this is your person, awesome. Honor that. If you need a little more confirmation, if this is your person, I will pull some extra confirmation here. So let's see, let's get some letters, some things like that for, sorry, let me set the intention. <laughs> for those who need extra confirmation, can we please give that to them? Okay. 
a lot of fuzz. Maybe there's something about lint. I don't know. Okay. Um, what we got pile one so we have short so and this could be you or them so there could be a significant height difference um or this person could just be on the shorter side we have intense eyes or intense eye contact there's something about the eyes here we have well-rounded and i want to say your initials could be here as well with these letters so okay we have a u an h an o n p a k M, another A, so double letters, L, N, P, T, W, M, any more letters, another O, 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 okay. Um, all right, and then we have, we have the Emperor, so Aries energy. I'm also hearing just, um, April, but we also have Taurus, so that the kind of you know, Aries, Taurus. We have Sagittarius. We have the number three, so this could be the third house, which would be ruled by Gemini. There could be a bit communication or someone knowing something through siblings, sibling connection there. Um, we have Aries again. Uh, this also the third of the month or March could be important. All right, we have four, so April, again, the fourth of a month, um, the fourth house, which is ruled by Cancer. Um, okay, uh, there could be also, like, a, there could be some family ties for some of you, where you know this person through your sibling, the, could be your mother, something like that. Um, we have seven, so this would be July, um, or the seventh of a month. We have Aries again. We have desert, so the desert um, could be important or a connection. Then we have tall. So again, I was talking about height difference, so there could be short, tall, like a big gap. Um, we have South America and we have Africa, as well as this little key. So there could be some relevance to a key. Someone's last name could be key. Um, I don't know, this also made me think of the movie, The Secret Garden, but it's probably because I watched that the other night. Um, but there's, there's a little key. Someone could have given someone else keys. Um, someone could be a locksmith or something like that. So I'm going to collect keys as well. All right. So there are your confirmations, um, pile one. Thank you so much for, for spending your time with me. Don't forget to like, comment, um, interact with this in some, some way. Always does really help me out. Um, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me and have a good one. Bye guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile two. You picked this little obsidian <laughs> chunk here. And the king of wands. And we are going over how is your person thinking about you right now. Um, we'll also go over feelings, hidden truths, challenges, those kinds of things, chan channel messages. And I'll do um, confirmations at the end as well for those who uh, like that. So... <sighs> With this King of Wands energy, we could have some fire signs here, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries kind of energy. Um, there could be a confidence that your person likes about you if you're drawn to this page or this card or this pile. Um, because the King of Wands has, uh, there's an attractiveness, there's a confidence, there's a, it, it, it's a vibe, right? So this person, you know, thinks about that, thinks about your vibe, thinks about what they're drawn to, um, and that kind of thing. But with that, we're going to jump into the tarot and just see what, what is this person, what are they, thinking that I can't shuffle. <sighs> what is pile two's person thinking about them right now? What is pile two's person thinking about them right now? Pile two, what is the person thinking about them right now? 
We have an eight of wands. The emperor, so Aries energy. Ten of cups. Pentacles, and then we have an Eight of Cups. I'm going to clarify these, but to kind of just start off with, this person, there's a couple scenarios, so I'm going to kind of touch on um, all the different ones I'm getting. If you're in a no contact with uh, this person, this person could be thinking about reaching out to you, thinking about communicating with you. Um, for those, you know, just in a regular, the, this person wants to talk to you. Um, there also could be a need to want to change things, want to shift things in a rapid way. Um, the emperor. So this person feels like you're kind of on top of the world. You have a lot going on and a lot going for you. Um, some of you may be well established. You kind of have, yeah, have had, have, have done a lot of things. The Ten of Cups here, the Ten of Cups is deep emotional fulfillment. So this person is thinking a lot about that. This is a card that represents family and marriage, happy life, happy family, that those kinds of things. So this person could see you as this person that they would want to do life with, um, that you have the qualities that they want. We have all these little fish here, which represent abundance. Um, there's just an abundance of emotional fulfillment when it comes to you. Now with the, the hermit here, I do get a vibe that this person thinks that sometimes it's like you're a little hard to get to or a little hard to reach. Um, we do have this person sitting on top of this lighthouse. So not only are you a shining light for people, you could be a shining light for this person, but there's also a bit of like, even though this isn't per se the, the hermit, the hermit, but the way this is representative in this picture, um, there's a sense that this person may have put you on a pedestal or they think they think very highly of you. But again, it kind of feels like you're, you're kind of out of touch um, or they can't quite get a hold of you. Um, then we have this three of pentacles. Some of you may work with this person. Um, this is, this is someone seeing, thinking that you're the type of person they could build a life with. We could build things together. We could collaborate. We could, we could grow well together. It's kind of the initial thoughts. And then the overall energy, we do have this eight of cups. So some of you may have walked away from this person. This can represent like walking away from something, moving away from this. Um, but eight of cups is going after a heart's desire. So this person sees you as someone that, that tends to go and follow their heart, even if it's hard. Um, we do have this person in the middle kind of dressed as a, a ladybug. So this person could see you as quite like lucky, um, or they could feel lucky that they've known you. Um, we do have lots of little pairs here, but we have this like little ladybug walking by itself. Um, with all these pairs, this person could feel like that you're their pair, but maybe again, they, they can't quite reach you for some reason. Um, all right, let's clarify these real quick. How's this, what's this person thinking? Pile two, what's this person thinking? The Empress, wow, okay, this person wants to tell you how amazing that they think you are. Um, this person finds you extremely attractive. They think about that. Uh, they find you very nurturing, very grounded energy. Uh, the Empress is like that mother nature kind of vibe. Um, another kind of message about being on a pedestal here as well with that. But this person whoop, may want to share that with you as I threw. All right, I'm going to shuffle these all back in. <laughs> There's like five cards that fell out. If there was just one, I would take it, but it's too many. Okay. Emperor card. What does this person think about pile two? The Queen of Wands. So we have counterparts here. You know, we have that Ten of Cups. I, I want to do life with you. I could see you as being my partner. But this is that vibes that you're you have you have that oomph about you, you have that the beauty about you, that the that captivating energy. This person likes your confidence. They like your fire. They like the passion that you carry for things. We have a seven of cups. 
So something this person could be thinking, if you guys aren't in a dedicated relationship, they could feel like you have a lot of options. Um, they could be thinking a lot about this. And also they could be fantasizing what a life would be like with you. Seven of Cups is kind of just like being a little up in your head, thinking a lot about different options, thinking about different things. Uh, it can be a little wishful thinking kind of vibe. So this person could be wishing that you guys are together or you have this happy life, happy vibe. But they, they think about that a lot. Five of Cups. So if you have a tendency to kind of go cold on this person or, you know, I gave you that vibe of where this person feels like they can't quite get a hold of you or, or reach you, this could make this person feel pretty sad. Um, there also could be a regretful energy. If this person has in some way shut you out with this hermit energy, they could feel really regretful about that. The Five of Cups is a regretful energy, like I'm sorry energy. Um, I they could feel bad and thinking about like if they haven't been open with you, if they've kind of been closed off, they could feel bad about that. Or if you've done that to them, they feel it, it makes them feel sad. We have a two of wands, but this person definitely sees where, you know, you guys could work out in the future. Things could move along. You guys could grow together. You could plan things for your future out. And then we have a seven of pentacles. So this person definitely sees your worth. They, they see you as someone that is worthy of investing their time into with the seven of pentacles. Um, you're worth the weight kind of vibe here. So Seven of Pentacles is about planting the seeds and waiting for things to blossom. So um, oh, we have a Two of Cups right there <laughs> and the Page of Cups. So this person, again, sees you as, as a counterpart. They see you as a soulmate energy. They see you as a per person that seems to complete them. They also could feel a little like tongue tied around you with this Page of Cups kind of energy. But this person definitely sees your value and your worth and that you're worth the wait. And I'm not sure what this is all about and that might not pertain to all of you but there is some sadness around not getting to have more or spend time with you uh there could be a long distance for some of you as well that's kind of coming up in the energy but remember these are general readings so not every little piece is going to fit for everybody there is a couple different distinct energies kind of coming up with this so use your discernment please all right, let's look into feelings. So how's this person currently feeling towards... Ooh, that was the worst shuffle ever. I don't know why I cannot shuffle today. Holy cow. Don't judge, guys. I swear this is not my first rodeo. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I don't need to shuffle it. Maybe that's what my guys are trying to... There we go. Right, that just feels better. Okay. How is this person feeling? How's this person feeling towards pile two, please? Not today. Boundaries hurt. Avoiding conversation. Not dealing. Still upset. All right. This could be like where this person is kind of upset. Maybe you put up a boundary with this person again. Like it's like I can't quite reach you. So they're feeling a little upset. They're upset about something but they also could be avoiding a hard conversation. So maybe they've shut you out, even though they feel bad about it, but they're, they're not sure how to approach this. Blowing kisses, unconditional love, receiving and giving fairness and love, affection returned. This person does have a lot of unconditional love for you. I wanna blow you kisses. went <laughs> we have camera reminiscing making memories learn from the past perception so there could be um, some old pictures this person's going through they could want to make new memories with you um there, we could have some photographers here it could be a sign of that someone could be looking at your social media keeping an eye on you um, but just reminiscing energy like thinking about things you know where it kind of this person's like fantasizing about stuff. Maybe they're fantasizing how things used to be. Um, some of you guys could actually, this could be like an estranged marriage. That that scenario has popped up a couple times. I just haven't said it yet, but um, I'll give a nod to that because it's for somebody. So we have abundance. I talked about this with this fish. This person feels like there's an abundance with uh, with you. There's like you're a sense of you're a blessing. You're, you're lucky. 
even if, you know, maybe, maybe you walked away from this person. Maybe that's why they're feeling sad. Um, because they did feel so lucky and they felt so abundant about you. Coffee cup, meeting and talking. This person does want to communicate. Savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship. So this person, you know, they want to build on this. They want to chat over coffee. They want to talk about things. They want to build this connection more or rebuild it. I, I feel a need to say rebuild, but that's not everybody's situation, but it is here. Okay, let's look at some hidden truths. So what are some hidden truths that pile two may not not know? I feel like some of you guys are going to know what comes out, but <laughs> needs to be surprised for others, just a confirmation. Healing heart chakra. So there is some healing going on in this person's heart that you might not realize. Uh, they're dealing with maybe if they have a lot of trauma around their heart, they are working on healing that. That might be something you don't realize. You also could be helping heal this person's heart. Um, let's see. Hard to say goodbye. So for those of you in a disconnect, this person doesn't want to say goodbye. It's been very hard on them. Um, we have another heart and it's kind of like they have this heart on a, on a, on a chain. Um, we have some AirPods here. So it reminds me of like wanting to talk. We have some like, I mean, they're glass coffee cups here. Like I want to get together and, and talk and chat this out. I don't want to say goodbye. It's kind of like this, like, please don't go <laughs> kind of vibe here. True love stories never end. So this person, this, this, this is feel like it's an undying love for this person. Again, we had unconditional love here. So something you might not realize that this person, like it's it's true love to them and it, and it won't go away. It's something that's like, if there's a piece of you with them forever, you know, regardless if you guys work out or if you don't or however that fits, but um, it's never ending for this person. All right, the next cards, it was interesting. <laughs> this is the first time I've used this deck. Um, this is the Rebel Couples Edition. It's interesting, but I'm, I'm looking for challenges. So depending on how the, the card is worded, I'm going to have to tweak it a little bit. But um, this is a really interesting deck. So let's see. For Pile 2, what are some challenges in this connection? Going all in. It says go all in or get the F out. So a challenge here would be to, to jump all into this. Again, we had that like people shutting each other. Maybe you guys are both shutting each other out. So the challenge could be to go all in or a challenge here is it's, 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 it's all or nothing kind of vibe here. Um, and maybe, you know, with the things going on, if there's healing going on, this, this connection may need some flexibility. So this either all or nothing kind of vibe could be a challenge here. If, if, if there's like more than just black or white, it's, it's gray and it, it involves some nuance and some understanding. Um, maybe, maybe the issue here. Unplug, turn it all off. It turns them on. <laughs> okay. Um, a challenge here would be to unplug. So we kind of have this hard to say goodbye. The, a challenge is for this person to let go. Um, if someone was in another relationship that's affected this relationship, again, this is a one-off, but it also could be, you could be dealing with someone that's having a hard time saying goodbye to a past relationship. Maybe if someone was married before, maybe they could be dealing with that and having a hard time unplugging for that. And that could be a challenge. Again, that's a one-off that's very specific. So if it fits for you, take that, but that's not gonna be for everybody. But this person has a hard time like they feel very attached so detaching from this unplugging from this connection all right we have your friends miss your face they need you you need them so a challenge friends could be a challenge so there could be some influences here um maybe their friends are telling them incorrect information maybe your friends are telling are, are, are putting their two cents in and maybe you're not following your heart you know um I mean, our friends always mean well, they want the best for us, you know, but sometimes you do have to make your own decisions. Um, so friends could be a challenge here. Another one off could be if you guys are just friends and you're afraid of messing it up, that could be a challenge. 
to bring this more, you know, collaborate, collaborative energy here, there could be this like, oh, I don't want to mess this up because we're friends. Okay, let's see what this person's current intentions are. So pile two, another deck that I cannot shuffle well. It's so little and stiff, but it's so great. That sounded funny. Okay, ignore that I just said that. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, what is pile two's, um, goodness, pile two's, uh, feel free to throw some laughing emojis in there in the comments if you picked up on what I just said and, <laughs> and I did not mean to. Okay, um, whew, pile two. All right, this person's intentions. We have the chariot. This is cancer energy. This is forward momentum. This is this is going towards something. Um, if you guys are at a long distance, this could be bridging the gap, coming towards you, either also traveling. This person could plan to travel with you or travel to you. All right. We have the Eight of Cups, and I wasn't taking reversals, so that fell out in the reverse. So this person doesn't want to walk away from this. We have we have the Eight of Cups, which we had here, but it can't in the reverse. They don't want to walk away from this. And then we have the Magician here. So this person wants to empower. They want to manifest something. They want to make this happen. And then we have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. So Leo energy there. Um, this person plans to, you know, be happy, follow their happiness, um, be drawn to the things that make them feel alive. So, all right, let's get our song cards. I have been adding more songs to the deck. Um, if you just put a song in my most recent video last week, I haven't got a chance to add, add them all yet, but I am working on it. But if you want to add a song to the deck, please feel free to drop it in the, in the, um, comments. Okay. With the songs, there'll be a message for you in the lyrics. If you feel so drawn pick one of the songs and look them up. Someone told me that they just take all the songs, make a little playlist and listen to which I thought was pretty cool. So let's see. Pile two songs. So we have Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey. We have Praying by Kesha. Whew, that's an intense song. We have Dig by Incubus. Sorry, I like that song. <laughs> um, Only Love Can Hurt Like This, Plum with Faith. Silver Springs by Fleetwood Mac. And last but not least, The Scientist by Coldplay. Okay. So those are your songs. If you want a screenshot, pick a song, look it up, and see what your lyrics are, or your, your messages in the lyrics. Um, aside from that, let's get some channeled messages from this person. All right. What deck am I seeing here? In my head. Okay, the Hidden Truth Oracle, volumes one and two. Let's see. Pile two's person, what do they want to say? I want to tell you how I feel. We started off that reading this way with the eight of wands. I wish I could go back. And I do want to say, just like a general reading, these messages, not everyone might not fit for your situation. So take it or leave it. Just being near you is intoxicating. I think everyone can take that one. <laughs> That's that Empress energy, that Queen of Wands energy, that King of Wands energy. It's intoxicating being near you. I trusted you. I know I crossed the line with you. We will be together again. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. And I'm becoming a better person. All right. What deck am I seeing? Okay. Let's see this deck. Pile two. What does your type person want to say? Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down that's not easy to deal with. I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. 
Is it possible to forgive and forget? Something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. I've thought about you a lot lately. And how could you still love me after all I've done? Then the bottom of the deck says, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. So, all right, let's get some confirmations for those who need it. Um, if you feel you need a little extra confirmation, this is your person. I'll pull some letters and charms and attributes. So let's see. For pile two, for those who, okay, sorry. For those who need extra confirmation, can we please provide that for them? Pile two. Doesn't need extra confirmation. Okay. Let's see what we got piled to. Oh, we have a lot of letters. I see Holly right off the bat in here. So someone may be Holly watching. All right. Smart, quiet, and optimistic. This could be characteristics about you or them. We have Indi or India, I almost said Indiana, so maybe someone has an Indiana connection. We have Scar, so there could be a significant Scar this person has. We have Russia, we have Scorpio, we have Leo, we have Asia, so we have Asia, India, Russia, um, Leo, Scorpio, another Scorpio, and another Leo, wow, okay. Leo, Scorpio, Scorpio, wow, okay. Definitely some Scorpio and Leo energy. Um, we have a six of wands. So this person, someone could be an influencer on stage, liking a lot of recognition or have a job that they are on stage for, something like that, or you. Um, we have, oh, we also have, oh no, all right. Haven't done letters yet. All right, let's go. So we have H-O-L-L-Y. I'll go with Holly just because that's there in my head. Okay, um, Holly, or <laughs> another L. So we have triple letters, we have double and triple letters. We have Z, Z, R, B, H, A, S, H, G, P, U, O, D, E, and an S. So those are your letters. We have the number nine, so the ninth month, so September could be important. The ninth house, Sagittarius. Um, someone traveling, someone could be a big traveler um, as well. Uh, the ninth of a month. And then we have two, so February could be important. The second house is Taurus um, or the second of a month or the number two, number 29 may be important or 92 could be important here. So there you guys go. If you know this was your person and they didn't show up here, you already had your confirmation because you knew. Um, but hopefully those who needed the extra confirmation, you found it there. As always, thank you guys for spending your time with me. Don't forget to like, comment, you know, um, connect with this video in somehow, some way, because it does help me out. I appreciate that. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, I do those as well. You can find the information in the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Bye, guys. Hello, hello, my lovely friends for Pile 3. You picked the Carnelian Palm Stone here. And this card, the Hermit card. I, I love this deck and this little rhino <laughs> hermit. So very much Virgo energy showing up here. Um, with this walking stick, um, I know in the traditional tarot, there's a lantern and a walking stick, but I don't know if uh, there's a hiking connection for some of you. Um, I feel drawn to say that. Also like a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel scenario, or a bit of like how your person thinks about you is you're a bit of a shining light in the dark, um, like very lighthouse aspect there as well. So what we're going over is how, um, or what your person is thinking about you right now, 
We'll also look into feelings um, and to some other things like hidden truth, challenges, intentions, stuff like that. Uh, we'll do our channeled messages and we'll do confirmations um, at the end if you guys need extra confirmation if this is your person. So let's jump right into this with the tarot. Pile three. What is a person thinking about them right now? Pile three. What is their person thinking about them? Please remember general message or these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, so we have a seven of cups and a five of cups come came flying out together. So this is someone thinking a lot about something like either uh, something that went amiss, regretful energy, um, constantly thinking of maybe they could have done something different, um, made a different choice. Let's keep pulling. Okay. Sorry about that. And dropped one on the floor. It's a slippery deck. I haven't used this deck in a while. All right, let's try this again. Take that one. You have a page of pentacles. For me, anyone who's watched my channel for a while knows that the page of pentacles is typically my guide's way of telling me that this person owes you an apology. So they're thinking about that. Then we have an ace of swords, wanting some sort of new communication with you, wanting to clear the air, wanting to explain something. There could have been some, for some of you, some sort of miscom miscommunication recently. So far, this is kind of having like the energy of this pile uh, is feeling a little dismal, a little, I got to fix this, kind, that kind of energy. I don't know how the rest of these cards are going to go, but I just wanted to point that out now. So if you're in a happy-go-lucky kind of relationship, this might not be your pile. Again, we can still see where this goes. If you're drawn here, there should be something here for you. But um, I wanted to point that out as we get going. And then we have a five of wands here. All right. And a knight of swords. So there's definitely like thinking about communicating, wanting to talk, wanting to um, possibly fight for this connection with that that five of wands. This can also be needless quarreling, things like that. But um, there, there's an there's like I'm gonna fight for this. I'm I'm gonna. They also might feel the need to have fight somebody else off. So there could be some competition going on in your connection. Um, but overall, the way these these first cards are coming out. This is someone thinking about communicating, thinking about um, giving you something real um, with this Page of Pentacles. Also, you know, my, my sidebar <laughs> card for that is owing you an apology, but wanting to open up some sort of new way of, of communicating here. Um, but they could be a little worried about yeah, either a competition, there could be a lot of people fighting for your attention. They could have to fight some other people off. There could be some sort of third party situation on your end that they would kind of have to work through. Um, but they definitely want to communicate with you. Let's kind of clarify these with another deck. Pile three, what is a person thinking? What are they thinking right now? Five of swords. It's more of that like argumentative, but we have someone feeling like, oh, like thinking about things, maybe overthinking things you know, feeling regretful. And here we have this five of swords, which can be about a fight and a fight that no one really wins. Um, it's also that overthinking hamster wheel kind of energy. So I really feel like this person is is thinking like, how could I have done this differently? We have two fives here. Fives are the number of change. Um, we have another five here. So it's like, I, I want to change things. I want things to be different. I wish things were different. I wish I would have handled it different. Now we have the five of pentacles. Okay, so this is, we have lots of fives. So again, this person is thinking, how can they change this? How can they change whatever has gone on? This is, you know, I'm sorry for possibly leaving you out in the cold, abandoning you. Um, I, I kind of called this energy from the get-go. It's a little, little harder of an energy. With that o hermit opening card, you know, this could be two people that kind of aren't talking to each other, have kind of reverted, you know, keeping things to themselves. Um, but this person is sorry for, for leaving you feeling like that. Again, there's, there's so much regret here. All right, let's see. Goodness. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. Uh, 
um, clarifying this ace of swords so this this new wanting to talk to you there's like uh, i want to be more confident i want to share um this with you i i want you to hear me um but i want to honor you in doing that with that queen of swords and or queen of wands energy This is a one-off and I'm not sure who this is for, but I, I just heard like, I, and I owe you, you and your friends an apology. I don't know what that's about. Like they're drawing me into this little black cat here, but as if like they also, I'm sorry, like about your friend or I, I owe an apology to your friends or something. All right. Um, so this five of wands clarified by the king of pentacles. Um, this person is thinking about like, how they can be more solid, um, how they can be more stable, how they can be more loyal. I have a feeling like some of them, the situation where they, they weren't loyal to you and they maybe made a wrong choice here. Maybe they're realizing that. Maybe karma's kind of come in. Bottom of the deck, we have a four of pentacles. So this is someone hold, trying to hold on tightly. This is someone not letting, wanting to let go um, of this connection. So that's kind of just what they're thinking about. It's like, how can I com communicate and do things differently this time around? How can I come in in a new way, in a very honoring way? Um, how can I, you know, fight maybe some instability in my life um, and come in more solid and stable? Another, gosh, I'm getting so many different one-offs. Um, all these one-offs might be for one person, but I'm hearing like somebody owes somebody else money too. So I'm <laughs> not sure. Um, if like they owe you money, like I, I'm sorry, I owe you money. I, you know, I need to, to I need to fix this. You know, what's under here? Seven of Wands, King of Cups, another Page of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I, I have a feeling like somebody Karma kind of came and kicked them in the butt. Um, this person though does want to stand their ground or respect the boundaries if you put in boundaries. Um, but the, this is, the King of Cups is very emotionally in depth, but again, I owe you an apology. Um, so someone might've got a taste of their own medicine is kind of how this feels a lot. What's under here? The moon, if their fears got in the way, temperance, blending things, fixing things. And then we have a seven of wands again. So standing their ground though. So there could be a little defensiveness still going on with this person with that seven of wands energy in both of those decks. So it's kind of just, you know, what this person's thinking about. I'm going to move into feelings. How's this person feeling right now towards pile three? There's a better shuffle. Okay. I've had the worst shuffles this whole video. Like everything's slipping out of my hands. I'm not sure why. It's got butter fingers. Maybe that's a sign for somebody. I don't know. All right. Um, how's this person feeling? We have harmony, peace, balance, friendship. Maybe they want to restore harmony here. Maybe that's why, you know, I'm sorry for all the fighting. I'm sorry for not showing up. I'm sorry for not choosing you. I'm sorry for lots of things. I, I want harmony. Um, there could be a musical connection here with, with that as well. Infatuation. This person is feeling a little obsessive and a little addictive about this connection. Again, they could be infatuated with fixing this. Uh, this feel, this person feels like they're heavily in their mind. Like, how do I do this? How do I fix this? How do I let this person know? How do I make things better? Upheaval, shock, unexpected trouble. So all of this could have made this person feel like whatever happened shifted really quickly. They, you know, are still a little in shock. They, they are feeling, you know, maybe they feel like they're in trouble. Maybe they caused that. Um, again, some of them had karma. Maybe karma came in and uh, kicked their tush a little bit. We have curiosity, connection, bonding, unraveling. So this person is still really curious. They're curious about, you know, um, they're curious about you. So with these feeling cards, I didn't really get any, like, overwhelming emotions here just being very honest so this person may be stuck more in you know fixing mode versus just being able to openly feel freely also for some of you i know this is a love reading this could be like a fight with a friend like i don't know if you came to watch a reading about someone else and i'm describing like a fight you recently had with a friend because that's kind of here too hmm. okay um 
but yeah, this person is curious on what you think. Will you, will you talk to them? Will they be able to fix this? But they're curious about how you feel. And again, it's like this person not really even looking too deep into their own feelings here. Um, but they're more just curious. Yeah. It's, it's that fix it mode. Like, can I even fix this before I let my, my heart go too deep into this? It's, it's also like a lot of realizations, like maybe I, I messed up too bad or caused too much issues. All right. With the next cards, I'm going to do hidden truths. So what are the hidden truths of this time? Pile three's hidden truths in this connection. Resurrection, this ain't dead. So this person definitely, um, if I'm reading this and you're like, oh, I don't know if they'll really come back around, like it, this isn't over kind of vibe, something you don't really realize. All the truth will be revealed. Again, with the with this Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, this person wants to tell you the truth. They want to, you know, maybe they're a little afraid with the upheaval, you know, um, but all truth will be revealed. They, they, they need to tell it. And it, it kind of feels like I need to tell you my side of the story as well. And then we have, we are divine counterparts. So this person definitely sees you as a divine counterpart, a soulmate of some sort. Again, for some of you, this is actually a friend um, that you had some sort of falling out with. Maybe that's why I got that. I'm sorry about your friend. Or I got to apologize to your friend. That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. I love these readings. <laughs> okay, um, let's look at some challenges. So the deck I'm using is a little interesting. Um, I forgot I had it. This is the, the Rebel Deck Couples Edition. It's a little spicy in spots, So, but I'm going to ask for uh, challenges. So I'm going to read the card within how would that be a challenge in this connection. So let's see. What are... What are the challenges here? Uh, this one fell out. It's like, I want SHIT to be different. <laughs> So that's the challenge. It's, it's, it's changing. Change is the challenge, but that's what this person's thinking about. It says change yourself first. So this person, the challenge that they have is they realize that they can't do their old ways. They can't, whatever got them to this point with you, like they, they have to change that, but it is challenging for this. And this person really wants things to be different, but they recognize it's a challenge. Some of you guys may have put up a really hard boundary with this person where you're like, nope, Mm -mm. you know, so they're, they, the challenge is they don't know how to make things different as well. Okay. What are the challenges in this connection? We can't be all the things your, <laughs> your ass needs some help. Ask for it, hire it, make it happen. So a challenge be maybe that this person, well, they could feel like you need therapy, but it kind of feels like maybe they need some therapy. We can't be all the things. So the challenge is this person could feel like they have to fix everything right away. Um, and they don't quite know how. They don't know how to, to change it. But they know that they need to. Um, that there is some help that's needed. Okay. What other challenges in this connection? It says, go on a real effing date. <laughs> smell good and get your sexy on. So the challenge is maybe actually being able to go on a date, maybe getting you alone, having this conversation. How do I, how do I do that? Maybe you've blocked them or there's been some blocking going on. So that's a challenge to actually go make something real and tangible. Maybe some of you, this is some situation ship that never fully got off the floor. And the challenge is like, okay, can we make this a real thing? Can we do something real about this? All right, let's look into this person's intentions at this time. Okay, for pile three, what is this person's intentions? What's this person's intentions? Oops, okay, I'm holding my deck upside down. <laughs> so, um, that was not a reversal. <laughs> I'm just holding it wrong. Um, the wheel. This person doesn't tend to change. Face the karma. We have that five of pentacles. Okay. All right. One more. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So I feel like this person is, is intends to face the truth. 
they may need to face that. This can't be fixed. But this person wants to try. They want to try to have some sort of new beginning. They do have, and I get that this isn't really intentions, but this is here for you to understand. So there is a there's a feeling like maybe too much has been lost, but they do want to try, but they do have limiting beliefs here. So there are is an eight of swords. So as much as they want to do this and their intentions are to have some sort of new beginning or, you know, apologize for what they've done. That was already kind of in our reading. But this person is having limiting beliefs on if they'll even be able to do that. Maybe whatever happened has been, you know, hard enough. But the hanged man is on the bottom. So this person wants to, to try to look at something from a new angle, see things from your perspective. Maybe they weren't empathetic to you in the past. And, and that's something they want to change as well. They want to, they want to like see things from your point of view. Maybe they never gave that much thought before. They're a little selfish or self-serving. But they, they want to change things. Okay, so let's get some songs. Um, I am still currently working on from the last video. Um, the, all the suggestions, thank you. I will be adding them. I just haven't got them all in here yet. But if you want to add any songs to our song pile, feel free to drop that in the comments. With these songs, there will be a message for you within the lyrics. You can listen to the song or just read the lyrics. Just pick one of them or someone told me and I thought was really cool. They, they said they like to make a little playlist and listen to it all. So if you want to do that, you can just screenshot them when I get them all out and pick one or make a playlist. All right. So we have so far we have Over and Over Again by Nathan Sykes and Ariana Grande. Come Undone by Duran Duran. Dark Horse by Katy Perry. Fear by Sarah McLaughlin and Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. So again, if you guys want to, you can take a screenshot, pick one of the songs, look it up. You can ask, you know, touch them with your intuition. What song do you need here? Or you can listen to all of them or none of them. Totally up to you. All right. So let's get you guys some channeled messages and then I'll be doing confirmations. Um, where's my... There it is. Okay. What does pile three, what does pile three want to say? What do they want them to know? Pile three, what do they want to say? What do they want them to know? I'm keeping secrets from you. So they haven't been fully honest. I think they want to be. Um, no one loves you like, or no one loves me like you do. Being apart has changed my life. You challenge me in ways that make me grow. You're always in my heart, even if through, though I'm not in touch. I'm secretly heartbroken. I can never find the right words to say to you. I didn't believe in myself or in you. And just like with the general readings, guys, these messages pertain to so not everyone's going to fit for you. So just use your intuition there, or discernment. Let's get you a couple more. Pile three. What do they want to say? What do they want them to know? I'm ready. That's the fool. That's a new beginning. Will you choose me? There's someone else. I feel like some of you had moved on and so they're seeing if you you'll choose them or the other person time to ground yourself do you even care <laughs> sex <laughs> they're thinking about that i would do anything for you what do you want Ace of Cups, that's the I Love You card. Be more selfish. I feel like this person in the past was selfish in this connection, and maybe they're happy that you're being more selfish, or they want you to be more selfish. We have Reach Out. They're wanting to reach out. This love scares me, an Ace of Wands. So this is, I want some sort of new passionate beginning with you. 
Then we also have, this is like that Eight of Swords. So all that energy is here, but then I'm too afraid to talk to you. That limiting belief is kind of sitting here. So let's move on to the confirmations for those who need it. If you don't, you know this is your person, awesome. Um, if you feel like you need a little bit more, that's the intention I set is that we get you those confirmations. So for pile three, for those who need confirmations, can we provide that for them? These will be letters, um, initials, sometimes it can be yours or theirs, and attributes. So let's see, pile three, for those who need confirmation, so this is their person. So what we have pile three okay we have magnetic personality loner and light hair so those are some oh, attributes all right let's see we have funny travel so this person may be a traveler there could be some distance i'm seeing what was stamped on the back of this this is creatology this has a bunch of numbers Gonna see if there's any dates or anything, but I won't go down that road. All right, we have Gemini. We have Justice here, so that would be Libra. We have the seventh, or yeah, the seventh house, so another Libra nod. We have the fourth house, which is Cancer. We have Scorpio here. We have dark hair, so we have light hair and dark hair. So it's one, there could be some contrast between the two of you. Um, we have the Hierophant, so Taurus, and the world. Again, this kind of world traveler vibe or being long distance relationship kind of comes up with that. I have Canada and Southeast Asia. Um, we have this little ship um, wheel. So there could be some sort of sailing or boating kind of vibe here for some of you. All right, for letters, we have O, A, A, so double letters. We have another A, so we have triple letters. R, H, T, K, V, V, Q, J, J, T, U, Q, Y, C, S, P, A, G, Q, I, W, H, S. I don't know, I just thought of high school. I don't know if someone knows someone through high school. Um, so those are your letters. Those are your confirmations if you needed it. I'm trying to see if I see any words off the top of my head. There's all kinds of jag. Maybe someone tries a jaguar. I like jaguars. Jacksonville jaguars. Um, anywho, okay, I'm going to leave that there. Um, so those are your confirmations. Again, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. I hope this helped. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can find the information in the description box below. I am available for those. Um, either one-on-one -on -one live Zoom readings or I do pre-recorded readings based off of questions very much like this uh, that you can just have a, a reading and, and watch it based off of, you know, a little information and uh, questions. Uh, so just let me know. Um, again, you can find the information in the description box. So thank you guys again so much. Don't forget to interact with this um, reading. It does help me out. And thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Bye.